Hello, hello everybody, the One Man Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play 4, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time we... Oh, we did a, we did a lot. We fought the guy that was... I forget his name, but he was the guy that... Or even if they he revealed his name or not, he, he's the guy that made everyone, like all of our like, colony fellow like soldiers fight us, and we had to escape from them, and... Uh, Fought the lady, I forgot her name too, but fought her and then everything like we basically killed the guy and and uh, everything turned back to normal. So now we are here at the colony four for Ona's hatch, so now we're basically just gonna gonna go this way and explore the central lock central yard. Is there probably gonna definitely be people like this guy to talk to? Denzel. Or Ouroboros, hey? He might have gotten that council all worked up, but it doesn't change a snuffy thing for for the troops. The fact is, you're not wanted here. Let's so get on with your business and then skedaddle. Capiche? Uh, he doesn't like me. Or us. So let's talk to Ymir here. That rhymes. The flame block really did get smashed. I can hardly believe it. I mean, I didn't even think you could smash a flame clock. All experimental data pointed to the contrary. Fascinating. You mean you were trying to smash the flame clock yourself? You got some orbs on you, mate. Alright. Wasn't there another guy you talked- oh, right here. Maxi. Commander has instructed us to lay off you lot. Even though you're Agnes. Agnes with turncoat keys. Okay, now there's Yord here. Ethel's an, an open-hearted person. She didn't hit. Oh, he Ethel's her name. I, for I completely forgot that. She didn't hesitate to wel welcome Agnes into the fold. It's not quite so easy for us for rank and file like us, though. Getting used to it will take time, I think. And now, bam, 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 blam, bam, bam, we encounter super strong bunnet. Almost become bam, bam schnitzel. The Mega Bunnet looks just like normal Bunnet. Bad Bunnet never hear of such a, such thing. So not be to be fooled by cute whiskerings. Okay, is there anything over here? Yeah, there's this guy, Maybach. Maybach, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Smashing a flame clock is basically a signal to the castle that you're to find them, right? They already knocked us down dirt to dirt rake. I shudder to think what the consequences might be this time. It was necessary. And we discover the checkpoint. Ah, uh, there you are. Sorry, you are... I'm Solon. Pro 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 Procurement Division Colony 4. I got orders from the commander to set you up with the tent you can use during your stay here. So make yourselves at home. Thanks a lot. Commander told me something else as well. That you guys helped out everyone here at the colony, and we owe you all a lot. I'm afraid I won't have the time to attend, your, you, attend to you pers personal, personally, but if there's anything you need while you're here, just let us know, okay? Well, I'll leave you to it. What a reception! Someone seems like a nice person. Like, nice person. It's not on speak. Maybe we should go in and rest. Cool. I think I'd, I'd like to take a bath first, actually. Hey, you need love. You need love. You're, if you're headed to the bath, you you could you call call me love? That makes me feel weird. Let's just stick with plain old you uni, okay? The console we fought back there. Uh-huh. Oddly, he was strikingly similar to our own console. Both sides are gonna have consoles. Why is that odd? More accurately, not just similar. They're the same. They're the same? Are they really? Our colonies regard each other as enemies. But if the consuls giving the orders are the same, it means... 
it means? Hmm. Come on. Just spit it out, man. A console's such a big deal. I thought they were everywhere, like your run-of-the-mill knock-on. Riku refused to let Remark of Uni slide. Got that right? Knock-on are rare species world cannot live without. Protect at all cost. Uh, leaving Nappon out of this... What's this mean? That these guys are mega suspicious? Yes. I suspect they may be more deeply involved than we thought. Involved how, though? With what? With the reason why we fight. With deciding our fate. Our fate? And the Queens? You think... They're in cahoots? What can you tell us about your queen? I think we've only laid eyes on her once. Right? Yeah. At the homecoming, I think. She had long silver hair. Yep. Real dignified. Proper pretty wings, too. Wings? Like yours, Uni? Sort of. But they were much more of a shining white. Well... As for our queen, she was really elegant, refined and graceful. And her ears, they were super long. Up to here. Hmm. Guess that means our queens are different folks, all right? The consuls are kind of like the queen's servants, right? The castles. Their role is to convey the queen's directives to the colonies, along with handling admin and decision-making. So what? If we explain the deal to the Queen, you think she might actually get the picture? Yeah? Pretty much. I don't recommend getting your hopes up. Oh, yeah? The Queens sit at the very pinnacle of the hierarchy. So you think they won't even give us the time of day, huh? I'm saying they might be the same as the Consuls, our enemy. What? Also, somehow that consul, he became Mobius. Or maybe Mobius is the consul's. The situation's already dire enough. It'll be best to temper our expectations. <sighs> throughout the colonies. Uroboros has no place in this world. Their existence must be erased without a trace. Oh, will you save this game? Yes, uh, guess I will. We have to keep track of our progress. We've endured the fierce fighting at Colony 4. And learned that the Consuls and Mobius are one in the same. Truths we took for granted continue to crumble at our feet. We have spent so long blindly walking the path set before us without question. But we are more curious now of our future selves, of our purpose.
So split into three units, our main troops go wide, and first to make contact with Draws? What are you, a coward? What was that? Huh? I asked you what you said. You think I'm scared, is that it? I'll have you know, my plan is textbook. Drop it, Tyon. Let go! Colony 13 is a complete enigma. Our data is incomplete. It's just way too cautious, you clod. It's tedious and it's dull. Can you see that? If we don't eat now, we'll starve. We don't have the time to mess around. What does... Look, Taiki boy. I mean, we're Iron Lambda, yeah? The colony led by Commander Isard. And this is some no-name backwater. We hit from the side, and we hit hard. Am I wrong? <sighs> what we need is momentum. Gotta play hard to win big! Right, I see. One team draws the sentries away, then the main force can strike en masse, where the flank will be left loosely defended. Seems optimal. Is that right, Tyon? Huh? Yes. Correct. <sighs> All right. If that's your opinion, we'll approve it. Yes, Ezerd? Yes. If you say it'll work, I trust you. Happy, Tyon? Yes. Commander, strategist. It's almost time. The new consul should be arriving from the castle soon. Of course. On my way. My, that time already. Nimue, why are you still using that gizmo? Now that's not very polite, Izzard. This mechanical gizmo is much more precise than the iris clock. And unaffected by the black fog. Right, Tyon? Huh? Uh, uh, right. Should be an exit through the southern water vein. Head straight for that. And you, ma'am? We'll hold the line here. Keep them occupied. Begging your pardon, that's idiocy and certain death. Tie on. You can't. You all still have a future. Until the day of your homecoming, please just live. And here. I won't! Don't do this, ma'am! Listen, I need you to live, Tyon. You must! Flee for the colony! Tyon, get moving! Hurry! How? How can I? Tyon!
shouldn't have put so much stock in your irises, Kay. That is what you get. It's just bad luck. The plan was sound. If not for the black fog. It's all about the skin feel. You've only got eyes up front. That's why Kay lost. Sounds, the air, breathing. When you can feel all that, you don't need the iris. And for all that, you still flunk back, tail between legs. Are you forgetting that fact? <laughs> He's awful forgetful, isn't he? <laughs> so? I'm still breathing, and I... I had a ball with them kids, right until I had to scarper. Excuses a ten a penny. What are you implying? Excuse me? Is this a private party, or can I interject? I was thinking I might head out alone next. Is that allowed? You want to see with your own iris, eh? Pretty much. Plus, there's Izzard in Colony Lambda, right? It'll be an extremely amusing situation, don't you think? Yeah, we'll have fun, I'm sure. Okay, sorry about if you heard something in the background there that I just uh, had to get off for a second. But anyways, get us some mornings. Morning, Manana. Okay, everyone's here. We got word from Ethel a little while ago. There's something she wants to tell us, and we should go to the cancel counselor room to hear it. Very well. We should say we should say thanks for this tent at least. Okay, let's go see what Ethel has to say then. Okay, so I guess we are... Uh... Wait. Oh, but there's, there's this guy to talk to. Uh, or lady. Uh, Yord. So you guys were originally affiliated with Colony Nun and Colony Gamut, is that right? It must have caused quite a stir when word got out that they produced rebels. Do you think they're okay? Somehow I highly doubt that. I wish we could go and check. I probably can't, but I'm just gonna see if I can level up. Ooh, can I can to level 20. Even if it's only just one level, I, I'll still do it. Let's level all the way up. Nope. Go to lands first. There we go. I definitely feel okay. Let's go. Oh, there's, there's this guy to talk to. Fla Flaran. So who ultimately is your true enemy? Is it Agnes or the consoles? Or could it be you? No, I, I didn't mean it. But I don't think any of us can know for sure. The plot is thickening by the minute. Sure enough is. So let us head up here. People in Colony 4 are certainly quick to accept things. You lost sleep, all right? Yeah, like a log. Thanks for the room. You cleaned it out just for us. Uh, don't sweat it. Just a token from us higher-ups. My iris is clock. I couldn't quite believe it. So I went outside. 
hunted down a hawks as a test. And? Didn't get snuffle. The flame clock didn't show, and neither did any moats. Looks like it's real. Yeah. We were baffled too, at first. Anyway, we're all thankful to you. Flame clocks don't work so good when you're dirt. Hated having to worry about when my number might be up. Wait, dirt? I thought Ethel's rank was silver. It was when she saved our hides, wasn't it? Well, snuff happens. Kamaravi. Heard of him? Call him the Smoldering. The greatest warrior in all of Agnes. And a commander loves to spar with the guy. I know him. They say his spear technique is unparalleled. That, and he's an ace for honest pilot. Wow. So Kamaravi and Ethel were rivals. That's right. We fought against him who knows how many times now. Took our share of damage, but then so did they. At one time, one of his Pharonis' knee joints blew clean out. Most likely it was a failure of maintenance. The commander could have ended it then and there. But no. Telling other people's tales again? Not very endearing. Cut it out. C commander! Uh, apologies, Mom. <laughs> I'm joking. Ethel? It became a tremendous scandal. The castle stripped our colony of our silver rank, demoting us to dirt. <sighs> but look. They were made the lowest of the low, and still they chose to stick by me, even though it meant having to live day to day. That is why I must prevail over him. Huh? But you're... Free from the yoke of the flame clock, yes, certainly. However, this is another matter. What is it about, then? Hunger? Pride? Desire? Joy, maybe? It's a little hard to put it to words, but something along those lines. I haven't all the time in the world, and my troops understand this full well. For me, well... All of us, really. A rematch with Kamaravi is everything. And that will give purpose to the remainder of our lives. A purpose to life. Right, okay. On an emotional level, I could understand. Wow, really? I didn't say I agreed. I just see her point of view, that's all. <sighs> all right now, let's put a pin in the philosophizing. When we talked last night, you said your destination was Sword March, as I recall. Right. Come along. Okay, so we have uh, this guy to talk to, Denzel. Denzel Washington? <laughs> oh, hey, you better not just be ignoring those supply drops that come down. Don't trouble yourself too much over who they, they're meant for. Just get in and get the goods. Nothing I, I won't do to get him. Pretty much every, everyone will be out to get those supplies. Could easily turn into a mad scramble. Okay, is there anyone over here we can talk to? Oh, but there's a container. Let's just sneak a peek. Let's grab the stuff. Some coin. Now let's head and follow these guys up on Boliaris. Guess we have to walk slowly to 
follow them. Where are you going to? Oh, over here. It's over here then. Colony 4 Council Room. This right here is Sword March. Well, that part is common knowledge, I suppose. To get there, you have a few possible routes. Mainly, the northern and the southern. And then, the direct route cutting through the ocean vortex. You don't say. That works. Nobody's done it before. Such it is. You can try to approach it from sea or from air. But as soon as you're close to it, you'll end up being ripped to shreds. Trust me, it's not just the waves and the wind. We believe there's some other force at play there. And so, through elimination then, these two. And quite frankly, I wouldn't advise going north. Why is that? The road's dangerous and it runs right past Agnes Castle territory. You'd have a hard time getting through. Tyan, turns out you were right. As always. Additionally, you are Ouroboros. If you face another colony, you may find the same thing happening as did with us. I'd feel safe betting on it. If you go south, the battle lines are relatively fixed. If you can proceed along this route, you'll get there in about two months. Two months. But... But? There's more? Even if you reach the sword, this... city, yes? It's hard to believe you would find it there. It seems far-fetched. How so? Once, we had to advance across this region ourselves. It was empty. Nothing but the sword piercing the landscape. And then, there's that word you mentioned, city. What could that possibly mean? Is it a person? Or a thing? When Guernica talked about it, it sounded kind of like a colony? Uh, I was pretty sure it was an object. Will you still go there, regardless? Yeah. That was the idea. For a chance to live on. Then there's no more to say. Boliaris. Mom? Our guests will be leaving soon. Let's give them any assistance we can. No worries. Feel free to use the facilities here at your leisure. Get ready for what's ahead. doing what Ethel said. Just using the facilities at our leisure. You have to eat, else you won't grow. It's just... Don't let them get to you. Yeah? Aww. Hey. What is this? It used to belong to my friend. He always wore it till last year. Yes, he died, fighting against Colony Psy. You animals killed him. Shot him right here. Clean through. You're wrong! We're actually from Colony Gim- Mimi, what? If that's what you want, go ahead and shoot. It's not like I'm a hard target. Now we're talking. A what? You're nearly done anyway. Well then keep your lousy embers. Die today or in three months time, not much difference. 
Ah, just mind you don't get poisoned before your time's up. What a jerk. So uncalled for. Senna, it's fine. He was right. We did kill people. Maybe not his friend, but certainly others. We had no choice. If we hadn't have... We'd be goners. We had no choice. Yeah, that was clear until now. But not anymore. Right? Uh-huh. There's a chance we can make amends. Even if we're misunderstood. Huh? On the house. Eat your fill, friend. Huh? We're dirt rank, remember? Life ain't easy here. But you did help. Besides, you gave us a choice. <gasps> the choice not to fight. Now, we won't have to take others' lives. I've... I've wished for this. And you made it true. Thanks for that. Okay, so what now? I believe the South Ward is currently blocked by Rockfall. I would estimate that clearing it will take some time. I guess we'll just have to wait till it's done. Uh, guys, can I say something? Huh? Sounds heavy. I've been thinking and I think there might be something else that we could try. You mean about calling me for? It's hardly your responsibility. Diane, it's not quite like that. I mean, if we, I see someone in trouble, I just want to help them. Maybe it's not a sense of responsibility, exactly. It's more like a natural reaction. Oh, you feel that even for a former enemy? That's how I feel about it, right now at least. Mimi, your heart's big enough for everyone to have a slice. Okay, well, no time like the present. Let's do something to help. Yeah, why not? Ethel helped us out way back after all. Now we've got a chance to give something back, right? I suppose, I suppose it'll help us earn their trust and kill a bit of time, maybe. I think Mimi's right. Guys, thanks. Right, well that was heartwarming to be sure, but what are we going to do to help exactly? Lance, you need to expend some mental energy on, on yourself instead of blurting questions. I get this may be tricky for you. Okay, watch it, buddy. Well, if you're going to do that, perhaps a little intelligence gathering is in order. Yeah, I guess we got it. It's one thing to lend a hand, wait, to lend, what to lend a hand, another to know where to stick it. I guess we better ask around the colony then. Hmm. Still feeling weird about this? No, no, it's just... Well, worried about helping the bad guys. It's been late for that, love. Anyway, if anyone tries to stir that pot again, we'll just punt it. We'll just punt him under a leveness, right? And by we, I mean Lance, obviously. I'd like to call Ixnay on the, on the punting if it's not too much bother. I'm afraid it wouldn't get quite messy. Come on, it was, it was just a figure of speech, mate. Okay, then, everyone, good start on. Going to, good to start asking around the colony to help find out how we can help. Okay, helping out. Standard quest. Gathering info. All across Ionis, you will find the exclamation- that icon. Look, look near them for info that could be useful on your travels. Be sure to check any hate you happen to find. Okay, so... That's gonna do it for this part, guys. So, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like and post a comment about what you thought of the video. And I'll see you guys next time for more of my Let's Play 4, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out.